presenting the CW Crew. All right, we're hanging out with Peter Robbins, voice, original voice of Charlie Brown. Doesn't get much better than this. Good grief. Yes. Now, what is your name? My name is John. And you represent the CW? Yes, I do. Now, how many autographs at $40 per do you want me to sign for everybody at the CW who I know loves Charlie Brown? Our Christmas party's coming up, so let's get everybody in let, the let, office. Let, let's just start with you. Okay, I, I'll take that. The get perks your, of the job. Two. John, J-O-N. J-O-N. Where's yes. the H? Uh, my parents knocked it out of me. All right. Thank you so much. This is amazing. You are pretty much Minnesota royalty because obviously Peanuts is huge in, in the Twin Cities because of Charles Schultz. What's it like to come here? I'm so thankful to be here in Minneapolis and I look forward to meeting all the great fans of Charlie Brown. I'm looking forward to coming to this Comic Con and then I'm going to Kentucky and I'm uh, writing a book called Confessions of a Blockhead, which I hope will be a number one bestseller. That's cool. I love it. Thank you. So what is your favorite, what would you say is your favorite memory of being Charlie Brown? Uh, all the hot girls I got to date. <laughs> what? You're saying that as though it didn't get you the hot girls? No, 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 it did. It did? All okay. the girls love a celebrity, even yeah. Donald Trump. <laughs> So it did, it did help in the dating department? Well, I was a child actor. I was on F Troop, uh, The Munsters, uh, Get Smart, and then I got to do a, uh, this uh, voice of Charlie Brown, which was done after school. So it was a very pleasant experience compared to putting on makeup and having proper lighting and all that, and memorizing lines. I never had to memorize any lines. And even the lines are, you know, ugh, I got a rock. I or good grief. Did you come up with the voice or did they kind of, I mean, did the, the specific voice, did they coach you through it or were you like, yes. this is what I feel like it is? Well, I had my own little interpretation, but uh, I was fed the lines through Bill Melendez who did a lot of the Walt Disney. He was in the studio with me and uh, I listened to him very intently and tried to mimic him as much as possible. What was your favorite uh, film, favorite Peanuts film that you did? Well, there's nothing like a Charlie Brown Christmas. It has become such a family tradition. Even though you can get it on DVD, etc., people like to gather around the TV when a Charlie Brown Christmas is shown. So it has passed on from generation to generation to generation. When it when, when you were recording the lines for that for for that show, did you have for that specific show, the the, the Christmas episode? Did you have any idea that this was going to be such a such a reoccurring every Christmas people are watching this type show or did you think I'm just gonna do this I'll be and then I'll move on to the next job did you know it was special I was just worried that the kids were gonna gather around me and call me a blockhead for the rest of my life but I knew it was gonna be running every Christmas it is, it is the music was so fantastic the artwork was so fantastic the voices of all the kids Linus um, Lucy um, Sally uh, it was the first time that children were actually doing the voices of children instead of adults doing it. How old were you? I was nine years old. Wow. What's it like being so young and being in the spotlight? Well, with the, with the Charlie Brown, you could be anonymous until kids would gather around you and, and force you to say something like good grief or something, and then they would go, oh, that's it. And then they would just leave it alone you know so I got to have anonymity and I got to um, enjoy and and now as it as it goes by you know this will be I think the 53rd year running they show it twice on ABC it has just become a phenomenon and I have the greatest fans in the world uh, the Charlie Brown fans the CW crew on the CW Twin Cities DJ Bonix Alexa score and John Foss like, follow, subscribe to, and love the CW crew.